Yeah. Work for me too. So let's work with some of those textures. Um, so we have, uh, we did some sculpting. Um, now we can see that uh, on the um, on the on the facade there is also some texture problems, um, and you can see it a lot. Basically, UV data, even if your mesh is correct. Sometimes the texture is not rendered uh, properly and then you have black holes in it. One way, of course, would be to go to Photoshop, open your um, your order yes. photo, remove the holes and then drape it and then you hope that the draping is okay. Um, but the other way is to use um, texture paint here and then uh, apply those things on the fly here on your object. So. The same with the sculpt mode, you come here to your object interaction mode, uh, change it to texture paint, and again you'll see a small toolbar that comes with all these brushes, which I don't know any of those algorithms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so I don't have to ask you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just a <laughs> disclaimer. Um, something which I found to be useful specifically with this, uh, with this UAV data or um, the meshes is the clone tool, which you can borrow colors from other um, areas and apply it to your area of interest. Um, for doing that, I'm, I'm again just changing my uh, brush size with the, with the, uh, the brackets. You can also again use it um, with the radius here. Uh, the trend basically changes how um, how strong this this kind of modification would be applied. So if let's say if you put 100%, it copies the 100% of the data here to that data. But if you put 50%, it's gonna do it a bit more transparent. Um, there are all sort of all sorts of other options here. You can concentrate everything to a texture map. Um, you can also change your strokes, the stroke method, and the way the stroke is applied. Um, so, and also change the curve. I think Helena would be interested in this. Uh, is how basically uh, uh, mathematically this would this would change your uh, modifications. So, um, if you want to copy information from one area, you just need to press and hold Control, and then Control, and then press click on that area, and you can see your crosshair is kind of locked. That means that you're borrowing information from that area, and then you just use left click on the other area just to apply that information. The computer is crying. I can hear it. <laughs> so is it making changes also in the underlying imagery that you have draped essentially in the texture or is it just doing it for this object that already has the texture? No, I don't think so. That's a very good question and I'm, I'm quite sure it doesn't. So there is no... Um, there's no, let's say, the other way from blending yeah, that okay. file. Mm -hmm. But that's a very good question, I think. It would be cool if Because if you do, if you fix it in the original image, then you will have it also fixed in the original image. Now you won't have it in the original image. I don't think it's in the original image. Yeah, because that's what he's saying. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's but there might saying. be, I think there might be a way to do that. Um, because Blender comes with this I whole... I feel like it's, it should be pretty complicated to get it yeah. from this to the image. But you can uh, import it then to Archisoft, to the model that is modified. You can import ah, it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Because, yeah. That's OBJ. Oh, uh, yeah, and then the Yeah, right. so if you export it as OBJ, yes, yes, um, yes. then you you're will hoping get it with the fixed, with the fixed text. Stuff. Yeah, that's interesting. Fine. Okay. I'm not sure what I did. I did try to attempt to fix it, and it made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not able to read it. So. Did you press it? Oh, and your mouse works the other way around. Okay. <laughs> 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 I 
I can't do that because I'm not a perfectionist. I will just not end. I will just need to keep doing it. Keep doing it. And I will never be perfect. Uh, you can spend it just like weeks. Uh, perfect. Yeah, it's way too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I'd be tempted to just not fix it because it's already so distorted. You're never going to get it where it needs to be. Yeah. Thank you. Just like perfection. Just really doesn't look very good. I can't get it to pan, so it's really frustrating. It's like you're trying to go like, like up and down. I can't get it to go that way. I get it to go this yeah. way. You get it to go this way? Yeah, yeah just by clicking the shift and then scrolling, it'll go that way. Yeah. I'm kind of rotating it, not really panning it. Yeah. But I can't get, I can't get it to go So how to fix it, how to fix it? Yeah. Um, so, oh, the looks like mm -hmm. um, so those, the those people who have put the right like the in the beginning. Rotating. Why is uh, it for yeah, you? Yeah, but then they're just doing it like very slow. Like, I know, I, I did the same thing in the drama. I'm sorry, but I, I no, didn't do that. It's I, limited I, I to what angle shows. Yeah. Yeah. You have magical yeah. hands for blender like animal <laughs> <and> grass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so you're okay now? Yeah. 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 Yeah.